What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about CFX uh, Conflux. Coneflux. Conflux. Uh, for Mr. Mark Shaw. Mark, we're doing this one for you, man. Uh, Mark requested it, so we are we're talking about it today. On the weekly RSI here, we did just have a kind of significant rejection off of this 40 level. You know, overall, this doesn't really look too good. Um, yes, you have a higher low coming into play, but you can still go lower and maintain this higher low structure that you've had, right, for technically its whole existence. But anyways, you know, keeping it more relative here, rejecting this 40 area, you're maintaining uh, readings in the bearish area of control and that would imply in my opinion that we do go lower in price and we probably come down to this oversold zone if not bouncing off of it which it looks like you don't really like to do you probably go into it and that would make sense to me you know looking at how price has been moving you form a kind of flat base and then you break out rather dramatically flat base and then just gives way right here we are flat base you're probably going to give way in the next week or two I, I'm telling you right now, like this week or next week, I mean, if we're looking at the weekly here, we have a day in 20 hours. So maybe two weeks from now, within the next two weeks, you're going to see a move, something like this, something like this, maybe even bigger. From a bottom to a top perspective at your most recent FIB or relative FIB, I should say, um, from the current price to the 618, that would be a 39, 38% drop, somewhere in there. And you could go lower. You, you very well could go to your 6.9 or something like that. You know, from this previous kind of base, you dropped overall 38% there. This kind of base here, you dropped overall 35%. Um, it just took you a little bit longer, but you did. And then from this base, if you were to drop down there, that would be something like 38, 39%. So something kind of in the realm of what we've been seeing, being that it's the last drop, potentially the last drop. The only reason I'm thinking that it might be is because bouncing off the 618, finding support there, and then continuing upwards is is something that I would expect just from the overall look of this FIB. Um, you know, it's also in a previous area of resistance, previous area of support, kind of, maybe not. Maybe it's not, I guess, here, here, this little support, this little wick here, but resistance kind of in the resistance area in the sweet spot and then support there. Um, besides just the FIB, there are things that line up with the price to suggest that this level is significant. Again, that's down at about 7.11 cents. Potentially, you could go even down to 5.68 cents, so be aware of that. But again, this whole, you know, from like where, where your flat base was, to where your low was, that was a 38% drop. Flat base here to where your low was, that was a 37% drop. And then, you know, flat base here to where your low is 30, I mean, I think it's a little bit more than that, but yeah, 36, 37, something like that, whatever. Um, it, it just makes sense to me. Anyways, probably down, probably down for now. The weekly RSI again leaves room for that. The daily RSI, kind of neutral, but I mean, hmm, you are showing support on your oversold zone right now. Maybe you come up in the meantime, you come back to this area where you found resistance somewhere up around 13 cents, and then you go down, maybe. You know, this is the daily time frame versus the weekly time frame, so maybe over the coming days you do that, but over the coming weeks you actually have a dramatic move down, something like that. Um, you might not, though. You could just shit the bed from here, too. But it looks like you do like to find support in this area and make moves with it. So, um, you know, maybe not anything stupendous. Maybe it is stupendous, but something that's, like, in a relative area of resistance. So coming up a little bit uh, wouldn't be too out of the norm. Let's look at the 4-hour. Four 4-hour four RSI looks a little bit stronger. You're just looking better as we go down. So maybe we do get a more immediate move up, but I wouldn't expect anything too miraculous from it. Um, Again, probably nothing that's really above 13 cents would be my guess. If we're looking at this on a FIB perspective, let's see. Top, come on now, top to bottom. 382 is right there. The 618, and yeah, look at that. 618 to 69 is right there at about 13 cents. So um, that would make sense to me. That would definitely make sense to me. You know, it's kind of interesting. If we look at this on the four hour, I feel like it looks a little bit more like it. But you take this on the four hour, now freeze that in your mind and kind of look at BCH USD on the weekly, maybe on the daily, I don't know. 
but I just I feel like they're kind of similar. Like this this little zone here. Um, maybe not the volume and everything, and it's not it's not exactly 100, but let's see. I don't know. Yep, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, that aside, I do think it goes lower. I think right now, in the meantime, you might be going up and finding a lower high, and then from there we can talk about prices going lower. Um, probably over the next couple weeks. Again, where I think you're going is probably around seven to six cents. What was it? Let's see. Come on now, low. I think that was the low. Yeah, 7.17 .7 to 5.7 cents, somewhere in there. Let's see if that was, that's not it, no. 7.11 to 5.68, that's right, okay. Somewhere in that area, previous area of resistance, a little bit of support would make sense to me. So, you know, I think I've, I've hit that over the head enough. Um, I don't really got anything else to say. I don't think, man. Yeah, so that's it. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.